We begin in Brantford, where police say they have solved a nearly four decades old investigation into the disappearance of a young woman. Today, police identified the man they say is responsible for her abduction and murder, and it's all thanks to advancements in DNA analysis. For 39 years, he's waited to find out what happened to his wife. I fear we will never know what happened to Mary. Her absence leaves a deep wound. Larry Hammond last saw his wife Mary before she left to walk to work at a bakery on Morton Avenue in the early morning hours of September 8th, 1983. They had only been married four months he, along with members of Mary's family. Our greatest wish is to lay Mary to rest with the dignity and love she deserves. Joined Brantford Police today to announce who they believe is responsible. A man named Stephen Mudko, who died back in 2010, but who police say would be facing first degree murder and abduction charges if he were still alive. At the time, Mudko lived on Memorial Drive in Brantford and had been looked at by police during the initial investigation. He was identified as a potential suspect, however, there wasn't an evidentiary link at the time. A key piece of evidence collected during a search of Mudko's home in 1983 was saved until an advancement in mitochondrial DNA analysis several years ago allowed that evidence to be re-examined. The advancements in technology helped us to, uh, to generate a forensic link between Mary and Mudko. Police wouldn't say what that key piece of evidence is. Lead investigator Keith Taller says he believes Mudco may have known Hammond's family loosely and says he doesn't think anybody else was involved. It's a crime of circumstance. Police say Hammond was walking north on Park Road here, which is now Wayne Gretzky Parkway, before she cut through a field behind her workplace. It was in this field that police would later find items from her lunch, along with one of her socks and a small quantity of blood. At the time, there was no bridge and Park Road intersected the train tracks. We, from time to time, talk about it. I sometimes sit at home and think about it. While he didn't know her, Hammond's disappearance has bothered John Ferraccioli for decades. He operates an auto shop in the space that once housed the Buns Masters bakery she worked at. Many a time I've walked through this field and wondered whether or not possibly when they were doing some building in the area or the expressway was being built, that quite possibly she may have been buried in, in one of those places and construction just built over top of her. He says he knew of Mudco and actually grew up in the same neighborhood as him. His name was well known in the city. He played a lot of football. Kind of shocking to hear that it was Steve Mudco. Police say the investigation remains open because they want to locate Hammond's remains and bring her home to her family. They are hoping Mudco may have told someone something about where she is and that person comes forward.